there are some very useful date functions that we can use in Excel 2007 and that's what we're going to have a look at now. There's five functions that we're interested in today, now, day, month and year. The today function is a function that will return today's date. And because it's a function, every time you open the spreadsheet, it will have the current date in it. Now, you'll already know there's two ways of doing functions. You can either type in the function, or you can use the function, insert function palette. So if I click on the insert function, then we can choose the type of function that we're interested in, date and time, and then scroll down to find the function that we're interested in. It's always worth clicking on a few of these to see what they are about. They give you lots of information as to uh, what those fun functions can do. The one I'm interested in at the moment is the today function. It gives us a little description down here and we click on OK. And then OK again. And there's the resultant uh, date, today's date, 3rd of March 2010. And of course you can format that differently. You can select the number grouping and choose the different types of formatting from there. But you'll you'll know about formatting. So that's today function. If you have a look at it in the, in the formula bar, you'll see it's a standard kind of format. It starts with the equal sign, then the name of the function, and then open and close brackets. But there's no arguments. With this function, there's no arguments to go inside. You don't need any cell references. It's just the open and close brackets. So we could just type that in equals today open brackets close brackets press the enter key and you're done just do that once more equals today because i just want to show you that you can also click here to uh, finish the typing for you and also once you've got that in you've got a hyperlink here and clicking on the hyperlink will open up uh, excel help about that particular function and that's really useful because you can often get uh, hints and tips on how to use it and also the correct syntax and usually some good examples of how to use it. So we could use the today function to find out if we add 5 to it what will be the new date. So let's try that. We'll have the today function plus 5 either press the enter key or use the tick to insert the function and there in five days time it will be the 8th of March. Beauty is of course that it's updated. Open this tomorrow and that will say the 4th of March and that will say the 9th of March. So that's the today function puts in today's date. The now function is very similar equals now open and close brackets again it doesn't need any arguments because what this is going to return is the date and time so i'll just press the enter key there we are third of the third 2010 1503 so that's the time so you know when i'm creating this video um, again that's a function so it will update itself every time you refresh uh, the spreadsheet um, that will display the new current time and date. Day, month and year are slightly different. Um, but they all work in exactly the same way. Day returns the day out of a date. Month returns the month out of a date. And year returns the year out of a date. Now the argument for this function is actually a serial number. Serial number here you say? Well, dates are actually numbers. They're not actually dates. And all the numbers stem from the number 1. And the number 1 is actually the 1st of January, 1900. So i just put that date in, 1st of January, 1900, and then change the formatting to number, because it's the number 1. Here we've got today's date. If I change the formatting to number, you can see it's the date of... 40,240. That means there's been 40,240 days since the 1st of January, 
1900. This is just a display. In the cell there is a number, but we alter the formatting to display it as a date. So that's what a serial number is. We've got the number there. We can change, oops, we've got the number there. We can change the formatting to make it display as a date. And that's what makes day, month and year operate. Let's see how we do it. If I put in equals day, open brackets. Now we do need an argument. We need a number. Now I could just type a number in. Um, or I can use a cell reference. Let's try and use this cell reference here, D3. So if I put D3, and I can do that because D3 is a number. It's displayed as a date, but it is a number. So we've got equals to day D3. Press the Enter key or click on the green tick. And you can say the day out of that date is 3. Let's pick that up. Let's try that again for month equals month open brackets again we'll put that cell reference in d3 close brackets this should come up with three again because it's march it has we'll try the year equals year open brackets d3 close brackets and this time we've got 2010 so you can see how those work it picks out the day month and year out of a serial number that is either displayed as a date or not. It doesn't have to be displayed as a date. Let's just see how that works. Let's change this to the 5th of December um, 2012. Okay, so the 5th of December 2012. If we take the date aspect out, equals day of that number of that cell, D3, it's bringing out the 5. The month is bringing out the 12th for December. And the year is bringing out 2012. And remember, because these are functions, they are updated uh, as we go. Because you can see now the now debt time has changed to 1506. It was 1503. Obviously, the day has stayed as it is. And we can do calculations on these because they are, they are numbers. So you can do calculations. 